There are a lot of things that are happening in the brain as a person develops a gambling addiction. Researchers have shown that there's a number of changes that happen on a structural and functional basis in different parts of the brain that mediate our pleasure seeking, but also our control and inhibition. So when a person first starts to gamble, what we see happening in the brain is activation in the part of the brain called the ventral striatum, which is otherwise known as the reward hub. And what we see is um, increased um, activation in that area, that which which produces feelings of joy, excitement, euphoria and pleasure. As a person gambles more, that activation actually diminishes and it shifts to another part of the brain called the dorsal striatum, which is also known as the habit center. And so gaming behavior or gambling behavior becomes more automatic, more habitual and less associated with feelings of pleasure. So the more and more people gamble, the less and less excitement they get from the gambling, but the more and more they feel that they need to. At the same time that that process is happening, there's another process happening in the medial prefrontal cortex, otherwise known as the kind of top-down control center of the brain, whereby a person's ability to actually inhibit or stop an automatic behavior is diminished. And so you see a pattern here where the, the go centers of the brain that are pleasure-seeking and reward-seeking and, and kind of follow habits are escalated and then the part of the brain that stops those automatic behaviours is diminished.